My name is Adam Quinn. I'm a senior lecturer here at the Political Science International Studies Department. Uh, my research is on the United States, on international politics, and bringing those two things together on United States foreign policy. I teach a couple of modules within the department, uh, both on United States foreign policy, one for uh, undergraduates and one for people taking our MA program. Uh, it's called Contemporary United States Foreign and Security Policy for Undergraduates, U.S. Foreign and Defense Policy for MA students, uh, that covers a lot of really contemporary issues with regard to U.S. foreign policy today. Uh, we talk about American policy in the Middle East, uh, nuclear proliferation, terrorism, relations with Russia, relations with China, relations with European allies, new threats like, uh, like cyber security, etc. And we try to keep that as up to date as possible. Um, these are all moving issues, changing all the time in the news, and I keep very much up to date with that. I'm on social media a lot, sharing articles for the benefit of the students as we go along. Sometimes uh, I even write things online or appear on uh, radio or on TV myself to talk about some of these things. So we try and make sure that it's really up-to-the-minute uh, discussion of the current policy dilemmas facing U.S. Uh, policymakers. But we also try to put those things in some kind of context on the modules, try and make sure that people who take the module come away with a sense of the history of the United States with relation to a lot of these issues, uh, that they understand the institutions that are used in the making of US foreign policy so that we don't all obsess just about the president. We know that there are a lot more actors in the American system. And we also try to think about the long-term driving factors of American foreign policy the economic uh, drivers, the ideological drivers, the quest for security and power, these things that over the longer term we can see shaping the way the United States relates to the particular issues that come up. So I hope that by the time people come, come away from taking these modules, they are able to really arrive at decisions about what they think about some of these issues uh, that are more mature and informed and consistent than the ones that perhaps they would have started out with, and that they can develop the ability to think in a critical and informed way about some of these things that people are talking about all around them.